Marathon has definitely been on my radar for the longest time. We have heard nothing about Marathon for a year and a half now at this point. It's It's been a minute, you know? <laughs> and so I, we finally got some information about, but this one video, which I thought was just kind of odd with the game director here, uh, Joe Ziegler, and it felt like, I don't know, it felt so out of the blue. It felt so random and they didn't really have anything to say or at least anything to really give players to engage with besides like a couple screenshots and letting people know like, hey, we're expanding our testing group out to more people who want to play the game. So it sounds like more throughout 2025, we'll probably get some like internal beta testing kind of stuff. We did see our homeboy in Xperia got a chance to play the game over uh, earlier this month. He talked about his experience, which I did watch his video on it. We will talk about it in here as well, uh, given his thoughts and opinions about the whole thing, because he actually really does enjoy the marathon uh, universe a lot. And of course, big Halo fan. So see what the crossover is there. He's also a big guy into Tarkov. He is obsessed with Tarkov plays it all the time. It's probably his main game that he actually plays. So to have Hina Xperia say the things he said about Marathon, it does give me hope. But the main thing is what they talked about. Like there's a video that suffer here. Like it felt really weird. Like Joe here, like there's a lot of ums, a lot of uhs, a lot of stuttering and like, like clearly not really scripted at all. And it just felt like he's like, I just want to talk about Marathon now and just hit go on a recording and sent it off to an editor to edit it up easily. Or maybe he did the editing because these awkward fade to black moments were just so, just like out of place, it felt like. Like that, just like why fade the black there? Just just cut it, cut, do a hard cut. That's what I do with my videos and it works out fine. People still watch, you know? And let me just show you what I was talking about here when it comes to like his, like his way he was speaking and it just sounds so weird. Um essentially hostile mobs and players alike that are all sort of existing in that environment um, and a huge threat to you and challenge your ability to survive and get out alive. Um, the goal of every session is to get he's, out alive. And along the way, you're going to be like he's, like he's repeating himself and he's, I don't know, just like a lot of ums, uhs, and, and like he spent like half the video just describing what an extraction shooter is, which is like, Dog, I think we all kind of know what an extraction shooter is at this point. At least I, I would hope most of us do. Um, but <laughs> it was, I don't know, it just felt like it was kind of uh, weird. Like uh, the main things that he talked about within this video here are two screenshots here describing the two different types of uh, playable characters that we have. So this is the thief character, which is all it is is just a concept art subject change. And he doesn't really describe either character. He's just like, and here's the thief. He's like, okay, now I need to fill in the dead space of like what a thief does. So he's like, oh, you can kind of make your own assumption to that of how a thief would play in a game like this. And that's just like, with this whole thing, like it just felt like almost, it felt like almost like a hostage video. Seriously, like it felt like the like higher ups, like at Sony, you're like, you need to make a video about, you promised us a video about Marathon before Q4, <laughs> you know, give us a video now. And join these concept art, like all we have is concept art now when it comes to this, but this also does confirm Bungie was actually thinking about doing a hero shooter, but it looks like now it's more kind of like class-based extraction shooter, if that kind of makes sense. So it seems like there's still gonna be some form of customization and things you can do with these characters. Uh, but it's more like these will tailor to play styles as like a class, kind of same thing as like uh, like in Battlefield, right? Where you have like the medic, the support, the sniper, things like that. Probably something rather sim similar when it comes to Marathon, which is kind of interesting. They at least like, gives some level of customization. Initial reports were that the Marathon was supposed to be like give you full customization of how you wanted to play your character and like all the different abilities and things like that. But then uh, obviously things uh, changed quite a bit since then. So yeah, at the end of this uh, marathon dev update video, Joe talks about how they're expanding the play test out for people to jump in and play at the hostage video here. Uh, but I'm definitely excited about it because I love playing like DMZ 
was my first like really step into the extraction shooter mode. So getting a chance to play different versions of it would be super exciting. That's why I really wanted to, that's why I've actually streamed Delta Force and made videos about it before because that's a mode where I'm like, it's a little bit more hardcore than DMZ, which I wanted. So it's a little bit more engaging, but it's not as like strict and punishing as like Tarkov. But this is why someone like Luke, who um, got a chance to pl play the game earlier, well, I think it was a content creator that was targeted because his strong connections with Halo, right? His love for Tarkov and, you know, his knowledge for Marathon, really liking the, uh, the way the storytelling worked in that game. So uh, we actually had our boy Hinexperia did have a chance to jump in and play the game early. And uh, he wasn't really able to dive into much in the way of like details or anything like that. Cause you know me, I'm all about those details. Uh, but he was able to give like his initial impressions and vibes off of the whole thing. And I won't make you watch the whole video here. If you guys want to check out everything he had to say, I suggest go checking out his video. I'm kind of just sitting here, just kind of bullshitting you guys all waiting for these damn ads to stop rolling here so I can play the dang thing when I wanted to show. But, um, uh, yeah, I'll just wait for this video to run through here. I need to pay, pay for YouTube Premium, man, because I use this stuff way too much for recording videos. <laughs> but our favorite lore boy himself, Hidden Luke Xperia, <laughs> uh, talked about his opportunity to jump in and play Marathon early, uh, just earlier this month. And like I said earlier, he wasn't able to provide any kind of details, obviously spoilers. Uh, but for what generally what he had to say for his experience of playing Marathon as it is right now, that they have made a lot of changes to the game since his initial re uh, announcement that we had back in 2023. He talked about how like the experience of playing Marathon does seem to be good. It's not what he expected it to be. Like I think, but basically his general tone of how Marathon plays and how it is. So he said, it's not exactly what he expected, but he liked it, if that makes sense. Um, he talked about like one, of course, him being the favorite or favorite little lore boy. He talked about how uh, the storytelling works within uh, Marathon, and it seemed to be much more, uh, let's just say, like environment based, kind of similar to like a like a Dark Souls would, or uh, you you find these different bits of storytelling through interacting with the world rather than anything else. Uh, I was gonna say move. Which it's, I think for like a game like Marathon, I think that's kind of the right way to do it. If it's just an extraction shooter, like it's gameplay focus first. It's about the gameplay. It's not a really about, you know, the lore is kind of a nice little addition, but it's not really anything that would make you go to play a game like Marathon 4, if that makes sense. It's nice context to have for people who care and if the people who want to know about it will find it and they'll make YouTube videos about it and have channels dedicated to it, I'm sure. But it sounds like it kind of made it a little bit more passive when it comes to storytelling, at least according from what Luke said uh, earlier. Uh, he did talk about his playtime he had with the two characters. He did say he mainly played as the uh, stealth character, right? This is the, uh, the spooky one, which was right up there. Here, he said he mainly played this one, and according to from what Joe Ziegler said as well, that this character might be a little OP right now, and they're looking to fix it up a little bit uh, compared to like what the other one is, like the thief, which is another one. But again, like again for the gameplay that the, Joe Ziegler tried to talk about it, it was kind of like think of a thief, it that's what they do. Think of a stealth character. And that's what they do, you know, kind of thing. So it didn't really sound like it's like too imaginative, but it sounds like for the most part, like what Luke has talked about when it comes to Marathon, that he's actually enjoying the game, which is good to hear. Cause I, I'm very excited about Marathon. I want to succeed. I would love to see a new extraction shooter out there. There's so much more that can be done with the extraction shooter genre that I would love to see what they would have to say about this mode, like what they can do with it. Funny thing is though, when it came to this uh, reveal is that it's not what was promised previously by Bungie. Uh, if we can find it real quick here, this tweet right here from 2023, back when the game was first revealed is saying that now we're going the dark to focus on the game. And we'll be, when we come back, we'll have gameplay to show. This is back in May 
of 2023. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of gameplay showed <laughs> with this recent dev update, right? I mean, obviously things have certainly changed like we talked about earlier, but this seems like they've kind of gone much more like a, not necessarily like a hero shooter platform, but kind of like a class-based platform for your character to engage with. So there's different play styles that you kind of sign up in, or different types of play styles that you choose to play as, rather than completely building your character customly, customization, words are tough sometimes, uh, to be its own type of play style, right? Kind of putting characters more like in these different bins that they can play in, if that makes sense. And those are, I don't know if it's necessarily development hell that they're in, uh, but I think it's more that they were trying to probably get this game out as soon as possible and it's taking longer than expected probably and they had to change some things around to where it would actually get out in a reasonable amount of time right uh so i mean basically the top comment on the the development video kind of sums it up pretty much what we're expecting here so it's tldr two screenshots thief and the stealth character and then probably a closed beta in 2025. Like I said, probably a 2026 release sounds like what we could expect for it. Uh, funny thing also I noticed when it comes to the Marathon YouTube channel, uh, you might notice it's missing a few videos. As in, like, remember like that dev discussion videos that they had with like Christopher Bear, who was the former lead on this? And then, well, Christopher Bear got fired, Christopher Bear got fired because uh, some misconduct that he was doing over at Bungie. Not that great. Yeah, wasn't a good thing. Uh, and they actually completely privated the videos. <laughs> Even on like their old uh, blog update that they had on the Bungie website, they haven't really changed it. But when you scroll down, because it says they're talking about like the Q&A with Scott Taylor and Christopher Barrett, the video is privated now. Because <laughs> you're like, yeah, probably can't have Christopher Barrett talking on the about marathon when he's not with us anymore and the stuff that he did apparently was so bad that it was, deserved him getting fired but yeah i'm hoping that marathon ends up being something cool i'm really expecting it to be some kind of casual hardcore kind of like how destiny is right with its style where it's not like a fall in like super in-depth crazy mmo kind of stuff like destiny has always been much more of like a casual type of MMO kind of thing, like really easy to get into, but has enough depth to it to where it's a fun game to play, right? That Bungie did it previously with Halo. It was casual and fun, and they did a fantastic job with it. And then they did it again with Destiny being a casual, fun version of what this game can be, the style of games can be. So why wouldn't they do the same type of philosophy when it comes to marathon obviously the teams that have made halo the teams that made destiny very different than what they are right now over at bungie so there's also that to take into consideration but would they have a winning philosophy that they know works that they probably will continue with that i would that's the hope what's my biggest hope when it comes to what marathon will play out as is like a casual extraction shooter that's not like as punishing as say Tarkov, but a little bit more in depth and engaging than what DMZ was. Um, I just hope there's like, you know, proximity chat in some ways to kind of be a little more social with it. That's what maybe my, one of my biggest hopes with it. But uh, you know, I'm definitely keeping an eye on what Marathon's doing right now. I want to see something come from this game. Maybe as a content creator, if I make more marathon videos, I'll get involved with the the, the creator playthroughs. I can join Luke in a playthrough or something like that. You never know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, for marathon, dude, I just, I want something. Give me something, Bungie. Come on. I need it.